President Dmitry Medvedev reprimanded representatives of the Defense Ministry and Defense Enterprises for their failure to fulfill last year's state defense order. During the meeting on developing the defense industry, the President demanded that the names of those guilty be disclosed. Despite all the measures taken, it is impossible to call the state of defense production satisfactory. During the board meeting held in March, I spoke of the previous state armaments program's failure. I would like to hear from all those present why this happened. I examined the 2009 State of the Nation address today. Here is the text. I stated, next year, we need to provide the armed forces with more than 30 ballistic land and sea-based missiles, five Iskander missile systems, about 300 modern armored vehicles. 30 helicopters, 28 combat aircraft, three nuclear-powered submarines, one Corvette-class battleship. As you well know, I didn't take these figures out of nowhere when I wrote this text. This was agreed upon with everyone present. Why hasn't this been done? I'm waiting for your answer and proposals. If these proposals are not made, then the sector heads of the government officials must bear responsibility. You are well aware that half of those present here would have been doing physical labor in the open air back in the old times. You must be responsible for the commitments you take. The prices on air defense products must be well grounded, and the structure of these prices must be clear to the customers. Unfortunately, absolutely nothing is clear in many fields. And first and foremost, the responsibility for the non-fulfillment of the commitments must be seriously increased.